Hello, welcome back to the bee vlog. This is the hive that I did the cutout on yesterday out of the RV, and I need to finish it up, I guess, this morning. It's early morning, the sun's just rising. Yesterday, yesterday after I did, finished the cutout, I just left the hive there until the sunset so that the bees that were left over and the foragers could make their way back. Looks like most of them made it back into the hive. But I still have two buckets full of bees here that were from the bee vac. And there wasn't enough room in the box to dump them in yesterday. So I needed to finish up some more boxes and, and uh, I'll be adding them on this morning. And I'm hoping that even though the bees have been separated from the hive for, uh, how long has it been now? Well, about 16 hours. Uh, I'm hoping that they'll integrate well, that there won't be any kind of fighting, that they'll remember each other. So I'm going to keep the queen caged up until uh, later this afternoon so that I can just determine whether or not there was a battle and, and, or that they've reintegrated well. I noticed that they've been doing a little bit of cleaning up in the hive and depositing dead bodies out on the front of the hive. They seem to be awake and, and doing their thing this morning. The temperature is a little bit cool. It's about 49 degrees. It's not too bad, so the bees are flying and they're working. Um, so my plan is to, I'm going to put an empty hive body on the bottom with some empty frames in it and just start dumping the bees from the buckets in there and then I'll just put this hive body that has their cutout comb uh, back on top. In order to help keep them alive overnight and, and happy, I gave them a little bit of comb with honey on it just sitting on the top of the screen. They've been clustering to the screen and I think that they can they can get to the honey through the screen and stick their little tongues up there and get some honey. So at least they've had some food. Get this bottom board cleaned off here. One of the nice things about these buckets is since they seem to be clustered on the screen, there's some nice heat in there, I'm keeping it warm. Since they're all clustered on the screen, I can just pull the screen out. We'll see if this works. And the cluster should be just hanging onto the screen. And all the dead bees that are at the bottom of the bucket can stay behind. I don't have to dump them into the hive too. Here they are. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these frames in and and get the top box put on. They are landing on me. I don't think they're getting rough though. Get the top box on there and hopefully they'll all get along. Someone send out the signal please that this is home. Let me get that second bucket in here. I locked up the other hive, I uh, closed it up so that there wouldn't be any kind of confusion uh, with the two hives colliding at the moment. So all the other hives, or all the other bees in the other hive are, are inside. That way there's no problems. Oh, 
just let them work their way down inside. Let the live ones climb out. The dead ones can stay behind. <laughs> Little Jenga puzzle there. <laughs> They're not showing any signs of aggression right now. They're just kind of checking things out. I'm pooping. <laughs> I think she's getting pooped on. Well, I see that this is going to take quite a while, and I don't want to leave the hive open for that long. So I'm going to try to rearrange things so that they can walk up in as they desire. Um, but I can close it up. That's a little better of a Jenga puzzle. I've got the buckets down here. Hopefully where they can just you know, walk up on in. And the hive is mostly closed up. It's kind of janky, but it'll work for now. While they kind of get inside there. I'm going to keep Queen Beatrice all locked up in the other hive. I've got the a, uh, entrance reducer on sideways to you can see right there, so that they can't come out and the other bees can't go in, so there's no problems with that. Alright, it's been about four to five hours and looks like all the bees are now, moved, they moved all the survivors in the buckets, for the most part moved up and out of the buckets, and now they're taking some orientation flights and getting them to know their new home. Looks like most of them have moved in. So I need to release the queen and, and set the hive up right. There's a lot of room in the bottom. Now where did I put that queen? <laughs> She's in one of these frames, but I can't really see her all that well. If there were more comb down the bottom, they'd be hanging down the bottom more, but there's a lot of work to do up in here, repairing comb and caring for the brood, that's why there's so much of the puck. Well, just the bees that are going to be building comb are down the bottom. So where is she? <laughs> okay, I see her right in there. Turn it around. I gotta put it down so she can walk down in. There's so many bees. There she goes. Right there. Well, I'm gonna see if I can get it on my finger. Here she is at the top. There she is right there. Uh oh. Finger thing isn't gonna work. Where is she now? And it's 
probably not going to get on video very well either because there's so many bees there. I don't even know where she is now. See if she's even on here. No, I think she went in. She's not on here anymore. The queen has left the building. So all the other bees need to get out of here. Okay, now it's empty. Mm -hmm. See if I can get the top on. Alright. This colony was very gentle with us during the entire cutout. As, you know, for the, the mess that I was making and all the damage I was doing, they never once got really aggressive with me and didn't even get uh, defensive. They just did their thing and put up with me. And you know, we got, we got a few stings, but they were mostly accidental, where the bees got in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, same thing today when I've been doing the you know, rework on the hive and releasing the queen. There's been a lot of bees flying around, landing, and only got one sting because she got up in my shirt sleeve. But other than that, they've been fine. They haven't shown any signs of aggression, so I really like this colony. I think that they're gonna do really well. And the name of this colony is? So this is Queen Flora. So I'm just gonna, uh, once things start to settle down a little bit, I'll put an entrance reducer on to make sure that they can guard the hive, and I'll do the same thing with Queen Beatrice. I'll turn there. Right now they're closed off with the entrance reducer, but I'm just going to turn it over and let them have access to the outside, but a reduced opening.